Ah, so the child of Ball comes to me finally, for the last of the tears of Ball. You have come very near to locating your quarry. Oh, yes, indeed you have. Uh, what are you talking about? All I've been, uh, all I've done has been subjected to a series of strange tests. Tests of sort. I remember that the mage holds power as well and seeks to prevent you from finding them. The tests are of your own making, from your own power. What do you mean? How do you find your soul, child of all? Do you find it on a stroll? Oh, you must know yourself, the depths of your passions and the height of your depravity. You've come to know what you are capable of, and then shall open the way to your soul. It is yourself, your essence, that which you seek. You must know it or not. And because this is what you seek, the power fights against the mages and brings you closer to your goal. Soon you shall open the eyes with the tears of Baal. What then? Will the door be open and Irenicus will be there? The way to your soul shall be revealed, but you only perceive it as a door. A pity that mortal minds can encompass more power than their faculties can comprehend. I hope that you have been careful, child of all. The nine hells are a place of retribution. The tears sting as easily as they soothe. You're speaking so cryptically. What are you even talking about? I'm scared of the truth because this is my nature to do so, O oh Lord of Murder. But I bow to your mastery here and answer your questions nonetheless. Know you, child, that there is a tear of ball in this place before us. Yet there are two paths that lead to it. Two doors, two paths. Yet both lead to your goal. Oh. Yes? Oh, yeah, I know. You have made many choices on the journey that was your life. Many paths have you taken, and always they have had an effect on those around you, even when that was not your intention. Such is the fate of those born with destiny. The consequences of the actions they take ripple about them throughout all that is reality. Perhaps the fate of others concerns you little. Perhaps it consumes your soul. That too is a choice, an action taken. A ripple set into the pond of reality. Uh, the path that you take to the tear will affect another this day. Another who is innocent of the action you take, and yet affected by it just the same. You know, I've never seen this game played solo. I wonder what happens when you get to this point when you're the only character there. Maybe it summons one from another part of the game. One of those who travels with you, who orbits your destiny and yet is innocent of your taint, will do nicely. Remember, child of all, a choice must be made. And you must live with the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Go to my left and sacrifice for the innocent. Go to my right and save yourself. All right. I will do my best. from one who willingly shoulders the burden of destiny and its effect upon others. Your companion is returned to you, child of Baal. The tear of Baal is yours, child. I am hidden. We may proceed. Well, this is my dexterity now. Uh, 16, that's fine. For some reason I thought it was lower. Okay then. Done. 
as you ask. I am hidden. We may proceed. What? Mm -hmm. First things first, I should summon my longer duration friends. Something you need. I mean, this and Throne of Ball is basically one contiguous game. with it. He has that spell up, and I think she does too. Yes?
yes, a little bit under a turn. This one, same duration. So I need to do that toward the end, not right now. I wish I could set up some of these uh, skull traps and whatnot. Yes. Spells or potions for her to set up, so I guess this is all. What is it? I don't care what you do, just do something else. What is my task? It shall be. Become immune to plus one weapons and less. Percent magic resistance. I have a temper. So we are to battle one last time. No more hiding for either of us. Indeed. I will just enjoy destroying your Jotar. To die in this place is to cease to exist. 
I defeated you once already, Irenicus. You have no chance. I have as much chance as you, Jotar. I have fought my own demons in this hell, and I have learned that it is not to be feared. As horrific as this place is, it merely mirrors the soul we now share. Shrink from it, if you will, but I have grown to appreciate what it can offer. Now defend yourself. One of us is not truly dead, and may be restored if the other is left here to rot. I will be free with what I have taken. There's only one possible end. You will fall here, Irenicus. That... We shall see, Jotar. We shall see. Oh, well, he did take all that damage, so... Jotar shall not be defeated! Ah, achievement unlocked. We don't run behind. It's happening! My magic! No! Dramatic explosions. Draw your spirit back. Uh, we were about to give up when you began to stir this morning. How long was I, uh, dead? A couple of days, no more. However, you managed to find your way back. It is good that you have done so. You've done a great service for Sunder Lissar. You have saved the Tree of Life and myself, ending Irenicus's defeat. To lose you would have been tragic. I have planned a ceremony to reward you and to show your gratitude, and to show gratitude for your actions. You are a hero to the elves, perhaps even a legend in the making. But enough of that. For the moment, you need to rest and regain your strength, and I will send a priestess to awaken you at this time. Those of you who have survived the return of the exile to Sulden SLR know me, your queen. But only some of you know the hero beside me, who was most instrumental in saving our city and the Tree of Life. Such selfless acts almost resulted in the loss of your life, and perhaps much more than that. These deeds were not performed alone. Sulden SLR also extends its gratitude to those who have traveled with you and fought by your side to help save our city. There is no reward adequate enough for one who has done so much. 
Let us offer, then, the eternal thanks of our people, and an amulet of the Seldarine to remind you forever that you are welcome here amongst us. As for the man whom we once knew as John Aleth, I can only say that he died long ago. He lives in my memory still. Funny thing is that most of the romance options are with elves in this game, at least for men. Actually, there are three... In the original OG Baldur's Gate 2 game, there were three romance options for, uh, for male characters, and all three of them were elves. <laughs> I'm sorry, two and a half elves. Technically speaking, because one of them was half uh, half elf and half human. The old, the one fem uh, romance for female, uh, the one romance for female characters was Anamen. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> to the man he became, the exile Irenicus, he who performed atrocities on you, the tree, and his former people. To him, I can only send my prayer that he finds the peace in death he never found in life. I feel I must apologize on his behalf for what he put you and your friends through. For his madness, we stripped John Aleth of his elven immortality and exiled him, only to create Irenicus instead. Immortality, quote unquote. He can live up to 750 years, I think, at maximum. I cannot help but feel we are partly responsible. It is something I shall have to ponder on. As for you, I imagine you are eager to resume your travels once again. We wish you well. No, we look I forward mean, to your return in the future, proceed. should you desire to. Ryan's ward has become too powerful. We should have acted long before now. There is no reason to be concerned. The fate of this fool has been sealed. But can we be so sure? This spawn of Baal is doomed. There is no escape. But I'm the spawn of all. There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite, but peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful Baal spawn have arisen leading their armies across the Sword Coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. Like wildfire, 
panic spreads before the armies of the Five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Sultan Esselar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy, and how long before its culmination devours your soul. <laughs> Thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, chaos shall reign. I think I should level up all my characters now that I'm actually in the sequel game now. And after this, I'll be done. I leveled up twice, 17 to 18 to 19. And two level nine spells. Oh, I think uh, I'm thinking wish and imprisonment. to go yet though. Anyway. Oh, uh I should have him start learning. I should have him learn the flail. I don't see uh Romont giving up his uh Warhammer anytime soon. So maybe he can have start this next time I can rearrange my items appropriately. Uh, what would be a good one for her to learn though? I don't know. Maybe I should start having her learn how to use... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get a proficiency is that uh, People don't have doubles of, and that's scimitars, katanas, maces, and short swords. Should have quite a few of these to learn. Or so what do I get with the third proficiency slot? That's for the offhand weapon. You know what? I can live with that. 
least for now. You know what? I'll have her do the scimitar and the katanas on the short sets. Wait, how many? 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So she has about five more that she can learn, and I can hit up the final two weapon fighting at the last level. So I have two more weapons that I can master. Swords and scimitars would be my best bet. I'll start with short swords. Use any item, obviously. Actually, like just games the one level and no spell slots. Slots, I guess. So we're just fifth and okay. Oh no, he didn't gain any there. Fair enough. Uh, good one. Probably resurrection was actually some of Diva. I just learned it. Might as well take it. you Magic resistance plus 7%. Shall be. 
present and future. The one foreseen, the one foretold. That which hath passed is ne'er truly gone. History repeats, though mortals choose not to see. War and bloodshed be not new to the realms. A god that once hath been, may be once again. Armies march and cities burn, the rivers froth with tainted blood. The corpses of those born not innocent feed the inferno of boiling hate. All servant deceived, five led down a false path. A hidden traitor lurks in thy midst. The servant of Baal knows death and destruction. The face of an ally, the mask of a foe. The children of Baal bring death to the land. They slaughter each other and feed their father. Death and betrayal walk together. A river of tainted blood doth not cleanse. The storm approaches. We speak no more. Thomas. Someone approaches, and judging from what the spirits have said, it is likely that there is hostile intent. You must prepare for battle. Ugh. So, I have found you at last. It was an effort to track you down in these woods. Too many old wards for my liking. But here you are. And I brought some bear friends. So you found me, what do you want? All that you need to know is that I have been given the pleasure of ending your life. I may yet mount your head on the wall with all the other ball spawn I've killed. I haven't decided. Do you have any idea how many people have said these lines to me before? Alright. You want that white 
why isn't it obvious? I'm also on myself, dear man. That's not an answer. Not to all the of us have been wandering Faroon like witless cattle, like you and pathetic Imoen and so many others of Baal's blood. Some of us have far greater aspirations. Well, you are lucky I have a user team, otherwise Emma wouldn't be here and she would slap your face. The time of Alondo's prophecy has come. These rhyming ghosts here should have told you that much. Great things are afoot. And your contribution will be your death. Uh, that's not what the 5th edition D&D manual said. It said that the fruition doesn't come until the next century. It has already been decided. I am Illacera the Quick, child of Baal, and I have been chosen to perform this deed. You cannot resist us. Uh, all right. I can. You are a fool to think otherwise. We shall see. Something you need. What is my task? I greet you, Godchild. You who are of divine blood, I have awaited you. Uh, why? And just who are you? I have existed since the first strand of fate was woven, a servant of the paths and the gods. I have watched your own path most carefully. Our own servant, who was the mortal Alondo, spake the truth that became prophecy. It tells of your coming and of all the others who are the progeny of Baal. The spark of the divine rests within all of Baal's children, and the time for their joining is nigh. I am here to aid you, blood child. Mm -hmm. You know my prophecy exactly. The progeny of Baal are many, and now they are quickly being extinguished, their spark returning to its source. An event unfolds of divine significance, Godchild. You are central to this event. Many are the strings of fate that start or pass through you. The end, I cannot see. I must shepherd you through this time as best I can. What can you do to help me? I cannot interfere. I can only prepare you, Godchild. Naturally. Aid in your education. You who are most unready to assume your destiny. Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean only that you are unready for the possibilities that await you. Your mortal mind does not readily comprehend the power in your blood. When you were last in your sire's realm, Godchild, it was altered by your own consciousness without you even forming the intent to do so. You are not ready for the power. Fair enough. You must be ready 
It is your presence which determines the outcome of the prophecy. Although even I cannot see it yet. When the time comes, you will be ready. I will make certain. What is going to happen? Power comes with knowledge, Godchild. It shall come to you in time, as your destiny unfolds. I shall see you soon. Until then, hold your heart close, and know that you are not alone. So, you have finally arrived. I have been waiting for you. It's not been that long. I literally just saw you. <sighs> Didn't I kill you the last time in hell? You did indeed, although it was no fault of mine. It was you that summoned me then, even if the words were my own. I have done nothing but attempt to reform myself since. As you will recall, it is your will that shapes our father's realm, whether you are aware of that, aware of what you do or not. I myself am nothing now but the shadow you see before you. Are you saying that I'm in hell once again? You, you do not know where you are, do you? You did not come here on purpose? <laughs> what bitter irony this is! Who would stumble about, nearly blind to their true power, continue to survive while I, Saravok, am reduced to this? <sighs> Very well, Jotar, I shall tell you where you are. You are within our father's abyssal realm, brother. That plane once ruled by Baal is now shaped by the taint present within your soul, but no longer present in mine, and you have been here before. This is a concern of sorts, a miniature version of our father's larger realm, sort of a plane within a plane. I assumed your mind would uh, formed it to protect you from the power of this place. Rather ingenious, dear brother. I wouldn't have thought you'd had it in you. Regardless, I spotted it forming and guessed at its purpose. So I came here and I waited, knowing what eventually you would come, that you would, knowing eventually you would come and that we would discuss my deal. Uh, Alright. At least you haven't come here to fight again, I guess. That's a welcome change. What do you think I would want, dear brother? I wish to exist. I wish to be alive again. You can... You can do that. A sort of resurrection S, if you will. Hmm. The smallest fraction of your soul, my brother. Given freely with the taint of our dead father within it. I would recreate my flesh and restore my mortality. Saravok would live again! I'm going to be getting a return for this. There is knowledge of how to leave this plane of yours, Jotar. This is the one thing I can give you, though I did not know that when I came here. No, what I offer you is knowledge that is much more relevant. Something that dates back to my mortal days when I was gaining power within the Iron Throne. Something that you will find most I know where your destiny lies, Jotar. I know where you must go to find it. Search about in your own, and it will be soon. And we will soon be too late. The time of the old prophecies is upon us, or at least upon you. What say you? Mm -hmm. Just what do you intend to do with your new life? I do not know. Avoid crossing you, dear brother, certainly that. My ambition was everything once, and now that taint is gone, I am unsure, but I wish to live. Very well, I agree to your demands. So I have cheated death! Thank you, dear brother! No de gift could please me more. and blood and bone! I am alive! <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it! Wait a minute, I'm suddenly reminded... Oh, I need to see if this is the same guy who plays, uh... Uh... Principal Lewis from American Dad. Oh, that would be awesome. Though my sword and armor have not appeared, Matter. Without the ball essence to channel their powers, they are of little use. I shall do without them as I once did. Thank you, Jotar, I am pleased. That's odd, I don't feel any different. 
I do not say it was only an insignificant portion. I suspected that, uh, that doing it here in this place it might work, but I was not sure. It is good to see that I was correct after all. If you weren't sure, it was quite a risk. I did not get to where I did in life without risk, fool. It was no bluff. I just knew it was enough to suspect that it might work since our heritage was the same, but none of that is important. I imagine you are eager to hear what I have to say. The first thing I shall tell you of how to leave this pocket plane that you have created is an extension of your will to it already exists because you need it to exist. It is this plane which creates the portal out, but it will not take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be, or perhaps where you believe you need to be. It cannot give you the ability to make this plane create such a portal. There are many, there are many barred passages in this plane of yours that I know little of. One, however, I can open, and beyond it lies what you seek. Watch. I am hidden. Suddenly, you know with a strange certainty that the room beyond lies a challenge. You somehow know that you must face an aspect of yourself or your fears. To that room and face your challenge, Jotar, and shall be difficult. You may not want to do it alone. There is a spirit here which can summon those companions you require for your party if you require such. Regardless, once you have completed this challenge, you will be able to leave this pla uh, plane of yours. It does not, however, take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be. And I, as I said, I know where that is. In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead Baal priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Syric, one that spoke extensively of this time now upon us. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, yes, but the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south, the Tetherian city of Seradush. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold. Nat although naturally you must face your challenge first. Hmm, aren't you still a child of Baal? No, Baal's essence left me as I died, and that which is given to me now maintains my mortality only. Some might still consider me a Baal spawn, but it's solely a matter of history and memory. Hmm, fine, I've heard enough. Before you go, one more thing to ask of you, Jotar. Take me with you. Huh? I was once sure that the old prophecies uh, centered around me. Even if that is no longer the case, I know more about them than perhaps anyone. I can help you, Jotar, with the challenge in that room and more. Of course, I do this for no selfless reason. There is power in your wake, Jotar. I am sure I am not the first to tell you this, and there is no better opportunity for me elsewhere. Besides, you defeated me long ago. You have earned my respect. Think of it, Jotar, brother and brother, side by side. Hmm. So we've reached the Z portion of my adventure. Huh? All right. Um. I don't have room for you in my party, even if I wanted to take you. Then leave one of your lackeys here, and your plane, for for you to return and require them, or leave me in this place until I am needed. I intend I intend on seeing what occurs with you, so I will wait. Uh, how do I know you won't be betraying me at my first opportunity? So you can both to follow you, my brother. That will satisfy. Here, in this place, such an oath would have power. Like a Gius, I could not betray you. There is no need for such an oath. I'm satisfied. No. Uh, I might return for you later. Perhaps you can swear an oath then. As you wish. Shall we wait for your return, Toto? Remember, the challenge may be difficult. Consider summoning companions to your side. Everyone else is like, can I enjoy to you? I will.
No, I can carry nothing else. Your item is on the ground. That's something better than the ones that she already has, though. Well, that sucks. I definitely don't need that anymore, too. I never wanted to carry a thing flush around with me at any point. Alright, guys. <laughs> On my honor. That's it for now. 
Okay, so the next time I intend to stream will probably be on the 31st. I'm not entirely certain if I'm going to do it from 10 to 2, like today, 10 to 2, quote unquote, uh, or from 2 to 6. Because I might have something going on that day, but I'm not going to know probably until Monday. But anyway, I'm hanging things up for here. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care and see you next time. The schedule, uh, at least as I best have it planned out, is below, is below what it says schedule. So thanks again. Take care. And Shiny ones. Stop in our good servant.